This meeting is entitled Francis Bacon and the Radicality of Free Association by Jonathan Sklar, who is a training analyst in the British Psychoanalytical Society and is also an honorary member of the Serbian Society and the South African Society. And <laughs> go him. These are the books he's published Landscapes of the Dark, History Trauma, Psychoanalysis. Violent Matters, Psychosomatics and the Art of Assessment. And the latest one is entitled Dark Times, Psychoanalytic Perspectives on Politics, History and Mourning. So I'll hand it over to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Lena. I feel like a doppelganger um, being doubly introduced. Um, good evening friends and colleagues. Um, I'm delighted to speak to you not least because this is the last lecture of the year. Well I hope it's the best of the year. Let's see. I'll start with two quotes. It's a remarkable thing that the unconscious of one human being can react upon that of another without passing through the conscious. Freud in his um, paper on the unconscious. The second quote is Van Gogh. Real painters do not paint things as they are after a dry and learned analysis. They paint them as they themselves feel them to be. In my meanderings, I will relate to silent paintings that induce conscious and unconscious thoughts, free associations about how we look and think of art I'm not putting Bacon on the couch, a somewhat stupid and horrific idea for me. Rather, I'm describing reactions, mine and others, to the experience of being on the, the gaze of his work. I'm finding in some of Bacon's paintings, not just representations of aggression, but unconscious links to desire for a violent father figure together with the female counterpart of the Furies of Vengeance. I'll show you a picture of the Furies in just a moment. The extraordinary mental leap is Bacon's depiction that can both horrify the viewer and also point to a voluptuous sexuality and for him, pleasure of dealing with such affect by turning it into sadism and masochism as part of a potentiality of being human, or as he liked to say, animal. And from human being, to, as he would say occasionally, being a piece of bacon. And this in turn can be used as a lens that he used to examine society with clarity. For instance, one of his earliest pictures, 1941. Can you show the first picture, Lena? Figure getting out of a car. Ah, here it is. Now, it's quite difficult to know what that is, this early picture of Bacon's. It's called figure getting out of a car. Actually, the car is a precise, realistic image known to have been copied from a photograph of Hitler emerging from a Mercedes at a Nuremberg rally. I think the picture is deeply disturbing and scary with a long-reaching head vomiting out filth. 